Hey guys, welcome back to the financial experiment. Today we're taking a look at my weekly gains from Robinhood. Let's get started. And today's honey is brought to you by episode or however it goes. Look, I'll make it short. Get honey, save money. That's all you gotta know. Check out the link down below. All right, so on Thursday, I was up almost $2,000 right here, $1,700 plus at 91 after hours. And for the week, I'm up almost $5,000 or about just over $4,500. And this is because of one thing only, which is Tesla. For anyone who doesn't know, Tesla released their delivery numbers and they outperformed expectations, which is what caused the rise in the stock. And one thing about Tesla is that I can never predict where it's going to be because it always goes higher than what I think it could possibly do by the end of the year. I remember early in the year thinking maybe, maybe Tesla can be an $800 stock. And then it went to 800. And then I thought maybe, maybe Tesla can be a $1,000 stock by the end of the year. And then it became a $1,000 stock. And I thought maybe, maybe, just maybe Tesla by the end of the year can be a $1,500 stock. Well, we're sitting at $1,200 and we'll see where we end at the year. But I'm thinking maybe, maybe Tesla can be more than a $1,500 stock by the end of the year. We'll see what happens. I'm very excited about the Tesla battery day and the investor day, which I believe now is going to be a single presentation. I'm sure we'll see a lot of good news coming from there. Okay, moving on to my other stocks, Microsoft over the past week, we are up 3.43%, not bad. Facebook over the week, we are half a percent up. Okay, I'll take it. Apple over the past week, we are a tenth of a percent up. AMD, are we still a profit? Almost one whole percent, and that's just about what I'm up on AMD, and that's fine. I just have one single share. SPCE, I think you have gone up this week. Yes, 2.25%. Again, SPCE, Virgin Galactic Holdings, that's a very, very long-term stock for me. Minerva, I still don't hold any regrets. I'm down 10%, I don't, I don't mind. I'm still very bullish on this stock. Um, I'm not gonna buy any more just because I'm happy with what I have and I have uh, plans for other stock. Oh, realty income up 2.3% over the past week and we are getting some dividends coming in. I like it. Analy, this is MVP of the month. We have dividends. Now they did go down a little bit, but I went ahead and bought some more because their dividend yield is 15% and they're paying that out today. I mean, that's that's a bargain. Like if you can lock down a 15% dividend yield now, holy crap. And the thing is like, they're paying that today. You know, it's coming July 31st and they're paying 22 cents per share. So I mean, at this point, it's that's what I'm going to buy next. Uh, come Monday when the market opens, I'm gonna see if it's still a pretty good deal, which it should be. And then I'll, I'll load up a couple more NLA stocks. Stag, what is Stag doing? Wow, up 5.24%. And, you know, they're still paying their dividends. Where is their yield at? Yield, almost 5%. Ah, okay, that's not bad. It's, it's a monthly dividend stock. So I'm actually curious to see what this stock has been doing for me. Okay, 181. Okay, I haven't held it very long, I guess. Oh, and I remember talking about this <laughs> during my last dividend payout which is I was curious to see what the reinvestment, what it was gonna do. And yeah, it has jumped from $1.80 to $1.81. So maybe next month, it'll be $1.82. I would like that. MFA over the past week, you're up two and a half percent. I'm up 9% overall, that's not bad. NLA is down just over five and a half percent. MITT has done nothing, literally nothing this past week. I have never seen this in my life where a stock does literally nothing. That's crazy. Overall, I'm still up uh, just over 6%. SPHD, I did buy some more SPHD because their dividend yield was close to 6% when I bought it. Let's see, over the week, yeah, you've gone up almost 2%. And they are paying monthly, so I did purchase some more. Overall, they are, you know, if you look at the one year chart, they're still down significantly over their all time high. So I still saw it as a fairly good value stock uh, since I bought around here. And last WNC is down another 9%. I'm down 34%. This is definitely my biggest shame. Let's see, 
That means, wow, wow. I bought almost at the top and it's done nothing but go down since. And this is because fear of missing out, right? I was looking at this chart and up until here, I was like, whoa, if I don't get into this stock now, I'm gonna miss out on so many profits. And it went down. I will say overall, you know, the fact that I bought it here and not here doesn't bother me too much when you look at the bigger picture. And that's, that's what I used to rationalize buying uh, when it was going up which is that, yeah, you know, it, it, it's up pretty good from, from the lows right here, but you know, you take a, look, uh, take a look at the big picture and it's still down significantly from its all time high. But, you know, I'm gonna call it what it is. It was a mistake, it was fear of missing out and hopefully you guys will learn from my mistake and not do that. Lastly, for the final number, all in all, I'm up 96.96% .96 for a total profit of $19,853.63. And I will remind you, in my first year, I was down a lot. I was down over $2,000. And at the time, that was a lot of money for me. So if you're, if you're out there and you're, you're starting to invest and you're, you're down significantly, don't be discouraged. You know, most people will lose money when they first start investing. So I don't want you to think that the stock market is a scam or something because you're losing money. It's, it's normal when you first start out to lose a little bit of money here and there. Uh, you know, I, I certainly lost my fair share when I was starting out. Well, that pretty much wraps up this quick video. If you liked it or got any useful information from it, please hit the thumbs up button. And for more on personal finance and investing, make sure you come back to this channel or consider subscribing to stay up to date. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.